Counseling Micro Skills Offering Immediacy with Sandra Collins and Gina Co. Gina, welcome back. How are you doing today? Questioning. I'm doing well, Sandra. What is it that you'd like to talk about as we get together today? Questioning. Well, last time when we talked about heaviness and my 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 professional, you know, anti-racism work. Um yeah, I, I realized that this podcast I host uh, and produce Against the Tides of Racism has been so incredible. It's been, I just can't believe, I actually can't believe I'm doing it. Um, so I want to talk more about that part of my, my life right now. Okay, I'm, I'm excited to hear about it. Self-disclosing. Because I do listen to the podcast and I know it's making a really profound difference in people's lives offering affirmations so tell me what it is that you're thinking about in that regard probing so a little bit about my podcast so it's uh it's released on a saturday every other saturday so it's a bi-weekly podcast um my amazing cousin ryan is my website designer and i have an audio um tech editor his name is Francesco, he's also amazing. So I have to ensure, first of all, I have guests lined up, I record it, I save it, I write it up, I send it to Ryan, I send it to Francesco. It, it gets ready to go every Saturday, every sorry, every other Saturday. So even as I'm talking here, again, I love this work and it's so important. It's constantly, <laughs> you know, the planning, the organizing that, oh, uh, you know, I need to be a few weeks ahead, right? Yeah. I yeah. notice as you're talking, the increase in, in sort of frenetic energy, you know, like your hands are telling me I have to do this and this and this and this and then pull it all together and get it on time. Offering immediacy. So what does that tell you that um, even just the movement in your body right now? Inviting embodiment. Well, for sure, this, this project energizes me for sure it does. Um, and I, I, I want to also share that before I re record with a guest, and Sandra, some of them I don't even know. Some of them, they like my, you know, they like my podcast and they make a comment off through LinkedIn or Twitter. I would say, oh, and I'll read their bio and I would invite them, right? So there's that, that uh, sense of excitement. Oh, I don't know this person at all. I just read their bio and they said yes, right? So for sure, excitement and also that sense of like, you know, showing up. Um, the sense of taking care, making sure I, I have them feel welcomed and comfortable and that they join in my excitement. So there's a lot going there. And we, we, whether it's, you know, getting everything in on time and also within the recording process, mm -hmm. how, yeah, how um, keep the, to keep the momentum going and, and have, carry that sense of responsibility. Mm -hmm. That's part of what I'm sensing as I watch you is the, you know, it's kind of like you're counting off the things that have to be done. Um, Offering immediacy. In order to take care of yourself and to take care of the other person and to keep the energy going. And it seems like it might be a lot to juggle. Co-creating language. Mm, it is. It is. Um, and... So I think there's, it's a lot to juggle. And I think overall, I'm doing it quite well. Again, the only thing that keeps me, you know, kind of sometimes a little bit up at night is that um, I haven't invited as many guests in advance. And it's because people are busy, right? And I don't want to push. I never want to say, oh, I need something by <laughs> next week. Can you please record on Monday with me? I have to respect their time. So it's a constant, like, who's next? Who else can I invite, right? most of them say yes too which is incredible <gasps> it's interesting when I said um it's a lot to juggle you sort of sunk a little bit down in the chair instead of being kind of up like this offering immediacy and so I wonder what that was about probing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah I think a part of it has to do with I am the yeah, I mean, I have, of course, I have two assistants and actually my children assist me as well. I guess when you said juggling, I, I yeah, I, I realize it's like, it, it is a constant juggling act, right? It's a constant 
it doesn't stop, right? When actually juggling really makes sense. It doesn't stop even through the summer months. Like it's, I get, it's very much on time. It used to be one, one episode a week for about six months there. And then I realized I was burning myself out and I then it became two episodes a month or every other week. So yeah. The oh, concept- I was just going to say, it sounds exhausting, Gina. Reflecting, feeling. Mm. I'm not sure if it's exhausting. It's more so I have to keep on top of it. I have to be more, very organized. Um, I don't think like, it's exhausting though because it's it's so worth it. The work I do is so it's so again energizing and so empowering. Um, I think when it becomes exhausting, Sandra, if it becomes that way, I think that's when I I, I would wrap something like that, that project like that up. And I might start something new, right? So, so not exhausting, but what would be a better word for the sort of feeling you carry with that that juggling of things? Questioning. It's yeah, it's it's it's, it's constant. It's 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 constant work, right? It's it's mm-hmm. constant, and it doesn't really stop. So. I have to keep on top of it. I'm not sure if there's a single word to. Mm-hmm. I've summarized that it's it's a, it's continuous like go 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 not to not to the point of exhaustion it's mm. I have to just go <laughs> all the time mm-hmm. yeah so it's a sense of um of of constant demand which mm. holds some weight but also um given our earlier conversations um a sense of um purpose and motivation which um, balances that demand that sense of maybe that sense of weightiness and helps you keep going summarizing mm-hmm. right 